Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm a product specialist at Abstract. In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with polygon optimization in Instalod Studio. Let's dive in. All right, so here we are in Instalod Studio, and so I'm going to go ahead and create a new profile here, and I'm going to choose the Polygon Optimizer as the mesh operation that we're going to start with, and then choose to create the profile. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly import a set of spheres. Now, both of these spheres are exactly the same. You can see they both have 960 polygons. The difference is that the sphere on the right is just slightly smaller. So we can see here on the right in my mesh operation settings that I have the polygon optimizer selected. And so I'm going to set the percent triangles to 50% and I'm going to run the optimization by clicking start. So now very quickly, we can see that Instalot has optimized our scene to make sure that the resulting scene has 50% of the original polygon count. So now if I look at these two spheres, we can see in total, we have 960 polygons, but you can see that the bigger sphere has 646 and the smaller has 314. Now, the reason why the polygon count is different between these two spheres is due to something called global scope. So if I go over to this little cogwheel here, this is the profile settings, and I go to global scope, we can see that it's enabled for this profile. Now, when global scope is enabled, Instalod takes the entire scene into account when processing its mesh operations. So in this case, we can see that because the sphere over here is smaller, Instalod was able to remove more polygons while maintaining the visual fidelity of the original. And so this is one of the ways how Instalod works to optimize a scene. But now let's say, for example, I'd like Instalod to optimize both of these objects individually. We can do this by disabling global scope. So now I'm going to go over back to my mesh operations, and I'm going to rerun this optimize operation by clicking start again. And so Instalod says that we've already processed this scene once. Do we want to reprocess the scene by using the processed version of the scene as the input? Or do we want to optimize the unmodified version, which is the one that we had when we imported it directly into Instalod at the very beginning? So I'm going to choose unmodified to reprocess the original scene. And so now again, you can see that we have 960 polygons, but both of these spheres now have 480. So Instalod looked at each of these spheres individually when processing the scene. And therefore, both of these have 50% of their original polygon count because it looked at these spheres individually when running the mesh operation. Now, with Instalot's Polygon Optimizer, there are a few ways that we can determine how much to optimize an object or a scene. And one of those ways is using an absolute triangle count. Before, we were using percentage triangles, but we can also use absolute triangles. And this means that when Instalot optimizes the scene, it will do so ensuring the polygon count of the optimized result doesn't exceed this value. So I'm going to go ahead and set the absolute triangles to 500. And so now let's go ahead and rerun the optimization on the unmodified or the original scene. So we can now see that the total polygon count is 1000. And so if I click on each of these spheres, we can see that each of them have a total polygon count of 500. Again, because we have global scope disabled, it's going to optimize each of these objects individually so that they don't exceed the value of 500 polygons. But now if I go ahead and enable global scope and then choose to rerun the optimization again, we can now see that the entire scene is 500 polygons, and Instalot has optimized each of these objects accordingly. Now, in this next example, we're going to use Instalot to create a complete LOD chain. And this will include creating four levels of detail for our asset. Now, here you can see we have this troll. And so this troll is comprised of many different pieces here, different sub meshes for the eyes and for the cloth, and we also have a bunch of materials as well. And so our starting polygon count is 127,000 polygons. 
Now, just like the spheres from before, we can easily optimize this character to 50% of its original polygon count, again by using percent triangle set to 50%, and I'll go ahead and hit start. Inslot then optimizes the model, and you can now see that we have 63.8 thousand polygons here, and we have a beautiful looking optimization. Now this is great, we can optimize all of our assets this way by choosing a triangle percentage and clicking start. But one of the great things about Instalod is that we can automate this entire process by adding more mesh operations to our profile here. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to create four operations here. Each of those operations are for one of our levels of detail. So for the first one, I'm going to call this LOD0. And now for LOD0, I don't want to do any processing at all. So what I'm going to do first off before we do anything here is I'm going to go to the top where this timeline is and I'm going to go to unmodified here. And this allows me to just preview all the different stages of the process that I've been working on in Slot Studio. It's a great way to go back to a previous version as you're working. And so I'm just going to go ahead and delete my timeline history here and continue working. So now we're back to the original model here and we can see we can begin working and reprocessing this asset. So I'm going to go to percentage triangles and I'm actually going to set this to 100%. So 100% of the original polygon count because I don't want to make any changes to my LOD0. I want this to be the highest level of quality that we have. Now, next up, I'm going to go ahead and create a new entry and I'll call this LOD1. And I'm going to leave this at the default of 50% triangles to cut our polygon count in half for LOD1. Then for LOD2, Let's again cut this in half, so I'll make this 25% of the original polygon count. And then for LOD3, let's do 12.5%. So you can see for each of these different operations, we're only changing the percent triangles to optimize the model more as we go into a higher LOD. So all that's left to do to process all of these LODs is click Start. And it's slot quickly processes all of our operations here. You can see it takes basically the same amount of time to process four LODs as it does to process one. And this is because Inslot operates asynchronously across all of my CPU cores. So we can see that we get these tabs here in the top left. And notice the polygon count as I hover over each of these tabs. You'll see that as I go to LOD3, for example, we're down to just 16,000 polygons here. And you can see we have a beautiful result. We're actually looking at a live view here of that LOD3. And we can see that live view as we hover over each of these tabs. So you can see we have LOD0 here, LOD1, 2, and 3. And Instalot is giving us a fantastic optimization. Now, what's exciting about this is that what we've done here is we've created a recipe that we can now reuse to process other meshes. And this recipe is what we call an Instalot profile. So what I could do is I can go to the file menu here and I can choose to save this profile and then I could load this profile back up into Instalod Studio as a template and process other meshes. Or what I could do is I could use something called Instalod Pipeline. And so what this allows me to do is batch process hundreds of thousands of meshes using the profile that we have loaded up here. So I could supply, for example, an output path. I could uh, use some naming conventions with variables. Then all I have to do is just add in my files and folders and hit start. And Instalot will batch process all the data inside of those folders with the profile that we have here. And so just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and load in a different model into Instalot Studio. I'll go ahead and bring in this character here. And just like the troll, this character is comprised of multiple sub meshes and a bunch of materials. And so without changing any of the settings here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit start to process this mesh. And again, as you can see, Inslot has quickly generated all of our LODs for us. You can see down to just 15, about 16,000 polygons, we still have a beautiful result for this character.
So this is the power of Instalot and its profiles, which allows you to separate the mesh from the processing results. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that the way we've been telling the Polygon Optimizer to optimize our assets has been useful, but we can do this even better. Initially, we've been telling the optimizer to reduce the polygon count by an exact percentage. Now, as we've seen, we're able to use Instalod to process multiple meshes, and with Instalod Pipeline, we can batch process thousands of meshes with one profile. However, how do I know if I've optimized the model too much? Or perhaps I could get away with optimizing the model even more. Working with exact percentages isn't as flexible as, say, having Instalod determine how much optimization should take place, and that's exactly what we can do with automatic quality. With automatic quality, Instalod is able to optimize the scene based on a level of quality that we specify. It analyzes the scene and removes only the amount of polygons necessary until it hits our quality threshold. And so this means that we can optimize any 3D asset with Instalod, and we will always get a consistent level of quality. So let's adjust our profile here to take advantage of automatic quality so that we're guaranteed to get the best optimization for any asset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on LOD0, and I'm actually going to leave it exactly the same, because again, I don't want to perform any optimization on the original. Then for LOD1, I'm going to change this from automatic quality of off to high here. I'll set it to high, and so this means that we'll have a higher quality asset. It's not going to optimize as much. Then we're going to go to LOD2, and I'll change this to normal. And I'll go to LOD3 and set it to low. So again, the only difference here for LODs 1, 2, and 3 is that we're changing the automatic quality threshold. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit Start. Instalot will analyze the scene and again generate my LODs. And again, we can see here as I hover over the tabs, we get a beautiful optimization for this troll. So Instalod has intelligently processed this mesh, and again, I'll go ahead and choose something like LOD2 so we can see the results. We can go ahead and look at these different wireframes as well. And we can see that we get fantastic results while significantly reducing the polygon count of the asset. And so once again, because this is an adaptive process, we can load in other meshes. So we can see here as I load in this character. And without changing any of the settings, I'll go ahead and hit start. And so therefore, you can now see how we can get a consistent level of quality across all of our LODs for all of our assets using automatic quality. Thanks for watching this video on getting started with polygon optimization in Instalod Studio. Now, if you want to learn more about Instalod's many powerful mesh operations, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here we have an ever-expanding library of videos covering the ins and outs of Instalod. And be sure to check out our community forum and Discord server, where you can ask questions and engage with members of the Instalod community. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instalod, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.